Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find z-scores and then compare two different items um, using the z-scores. So with this, what we have is we have information on a population. Um, this population for women's heights, the average, remember that mu is the population average and sigma is the population standard deviation. Um, so with this we have that mu is equal to 64.3 inches for women and the average men's height is 69.9 inches. Um, notice that the men's height has slightly more variability since um, it has a standard deviation of three inches. The larger the standard deviation is, the more variability in the actual data. Um, women have a standard deviation of 2.6 inches. So what we are going to do is we are going to use z-scores to compare these. So um, if you recall, to find a z-score, you're going to take the value or the actual height of the person minus the mean of the person or the mean of the group that they're in divided by the standard deviation. And then we will use that to help us make a decision as to which is more unusual. So when we use a z-score, we're referring to the standard normal model. So our standard normal model is going to be centered at zero. Um, the standard normal model, the z-score of zero means that the actual value is equal to the mean. So if the actual value is equal to the mean, then I would have a z-score of zero. And then if I have a positive standard deviation, then it's going to be to the right and a negative standard deviation is going to be to the left. Um, remember that one, anything within um, negative two to positive two standard deviations is normal. Anything above two standard deviations, um, up to three standard deviations is considered an outlier, it's unusual. And then if it's more than three or less than negative three, then it's extremely unusual. So we're going to use this scale to compare these. Since both men's and women's heights are different, um, you can find which one is more extreme using a z-score. The heights don't have to be the same. In this one, I happen to use the same height for both of them. Um, for this, we're going to compare a man that is five foot tall with a woman that is five foot tall. Um, we can look at this and see that five feet, it's... Um, remember that five feet we would have to convert it to inches first. Um, so five feet times 12 would give us 60 inches. Um, so we're going to compare a male's height of 60 inches with a female's height of 60 inches and see which one is more extreme. You can tell that this one is um, further away from the 69.9 .9, but with the different variations remember that does play a role in your z-score. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the z-score um, for each one individually. So I'm going to do um, for a man first. And I'm just putting a subscript of man down here so I know which one it is. I could use a one or a two. Um, it doesn't matter. That's just denoting so I know which one is which so I can keep track of them. So with this, we would use 4x. X is the actual value. Remember that this is the actual value. where the mu is going to be the mean. And sigma is the standard deviation. So we all we have to do to find the z-score is plug it in. So this would be our x value. So I would do 60 minus, and for min's, I would look at the min's height of 69.9 divided by three. And then you would just simply plug this into your calculator. And when you do this, you get negative 3.3. And I will discuss this in just a second. I'm going to make sure that I find both of them first. Um, the z-score for females or women, we would take the 60 inches, because remember that we're comparing the 60, minus the 64.3 divided by 2.6. So when I do that, I get negative 1.65. Um, so with this, because it's a negative z-score, that tells me that 60 is below the mean for both males and females. But since negative 3.3 is much further than negative 1.65, um, this is considered an extreme outlier because it's more than three standard deviations below or above the mean. And so this would be very, very unlikely.
which means that a man that is five foot tall is much um, more uncommon than a woman that is five foot tall. Negative 1.65, since this is about right here, it's within two standard deviations of the mean, so this is considered normal. since it's within two standard deviations. So it's very, very common to see a woman that is five feet tall versus seeing a man that is five feet tall. So let's look at another example. Um, for this one, it's not quite as extreme because this time we have 66 inches tall um, for a woman versus 66 inches tall for a man. Um, and you can see that 66 is closer to both of these, and with the standard deviation, it's not quite as obvious. Where the last one, it was very, very obvious um, that the five feet would be more extreme for the male than the females. So let's do the same thing. Let's find our z-score for a man first. Um, this time, we're going to use that x is 66 inches. So we would plug in our 66 for the x minus the 69.9 and divide that value by 3. Um, when you do this, you end up with a negative value and this ends up being negative 1.5. Let me. I'm sorry, I noticed that on my paper I had that wrong. That should be negative 1.3. Um, as I was writing that down, I said, wait, that's not right. I did that in my head. Um, what I had done was I accidentally used the 2.6 on my paper um, when I was writing it down and just caught it. So make sure that you watch for that, that if you are comparing two things that you do plug in the correct one for each one. Um, and then the z-score for a woman, we would do 66 minus 64.3 divided by 2.6 and this one gives us 0.65. So if you notice um, one of these happens to be negative and one of them happens to be positive. So this one means that this is below average, below the mean, but it's still a common value. Okay, um, a woman that is 66 inches tall is above the mean, so this would be above the average. And this is also very common because it's less than one standard um, deviation, or yeah, it's less than one standard deviation away, it's very, very common to happen. Um, the closer it is to the mean, the closer this is to zero, the means that more common that it is, the further away from zero it is, the more uncommon that it is. So with this one, while both of them are still common values and within the expected values of what you would see for the, um, for both a man and a woman, the man's is slightly more, um, let me write that differently. So a man being 66 inches tall is less common than a woman. being 66 inches tall. So we can look at the z-scores to see which one is more common, which one is less common, and in this case, since the negative 1.3 is more extreme, or it's further away from the mean, remember that the z-score is just telling you how far above or below the mean is. So the closer it is to zero, the more likely it is to happen. The further away from zero, the less likely it is to happen. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure you let me know.